record this. I forgot to start the recording. So here's the start of the recording. There's the next page, and here we go. There's five kinds of systems I want to show you. Um, one is called a direct to load system. That's where you have a panel, a solar panel, and then some sort of load. In my example here, a light bulb, I mean, sorry, a fan. And uh, when the sun hits the panel, the fan turns, right? This is the simplest kind of system you could have. Uh, you could have a water pump where when the panel, uh, like a fountain, when the sun is out, uh, the fountain, you know, has water moving. Um, or in this case, you could have like an attic fan where when the sun is out, the fan is blowing, kind of move air through something. Very simple sort of system. Second kind of system has a little bit more complexity. It has a battery. So this type has um, a battery so things can happen when the sun is not out. So an example of this kind of system uh, would be a path, path light. You know, you've probably all seen those solar path lights where, you know, uh, they're just charging during the day. And then it, when it gets dark, they're running off the battery. So um, more or less, that's a, a, a little bit more complicated kind of system. Um, the third kind, this is the kind that our solar suitcase is and the kind that I'm going to have you uh, design. It has a panel, a battery, and then, you know, one or more loads. And then it also has a charge controller. And the charge controller helps the system function uh, better because it prevents the battery from getting uh, drained too much. And it also prevents the battery from being overcharged. So a charge controller you know, manages the charge. <clears throat> it's the manager of the whole system. Um, and this is the kind of system that we uh, will be, uh, the solar suitcase, this is the diagram we had from day two. This is what um, our kits will have. There'll be a charge controller. And, it, and, and, and again, on this diagram, we saw this the other day, but the solar panel has its own circuit connecting it to the charge controller. The battery has its own circuit. The, uh, the loads have its own circuit. So the charge controller is the boss. It's like turning things on and off, whatever it needs to do. So um, uh, it coordinates everything. So this, this is the kind of uh, circuit we're gonna have um, in the kits that you're gonna design. <clears throat> All right. Um, the fourth kind uh, is just like that kind, but it adds one more thing called an inverter. An inverter is something that converts the battery power, DC current, DC electricity, to AC electricity. That's the kind of power we have in our wall, uh, you know, outlets in our homes. So um, inverters come with a watt uh, rating, and you can get a really inexpensive inverter that you can plug into your car cigarette lighter port or you know charging port on a car that'll run a notebook computer, for example. That would be like 100 watts or less or you can buy inverters that'll run a whole house. So I just did a Google search on inverters and found a, one company that sells all these different kinds of inverters. Uh, you know, the, the top left one says for mobile professionals, that's, you know, obviously for, um, you know, cell phone, computer sort of thing. But then if you're trying to run stuff like for, for real appliances, like a microwave or a toaster or a hairdryer, you know, um, or pumps or big old television system, you'd need a more robust uh, inverter. It costs more money. Um, the fifth and last kind of system that I just wanted you to hear about is what we call a grid intertie system. That's one where you have solar panels and a, and a big old inverter, and then the power goes either to your house or back into the grid. Um, this is the kind of system that Annalie has uh, over the student parking lot. There's solar panels and those panels are providing power to the Annalie campus. And then uh, particularly on sunny days when there's nobody on the Annalie campus, <laughs> you know, like, like lately, um, I bet a lot of the power is getting sold back uh, to the grid. Um, you know, the meters actually will run backwards. Um, uh, Anyway, whether they literally go backwards or whether they just keep track of how much they sent back, that doesn't really matter. But um, this sort of system is what most people have on their homes if they have solar power. Like I have, I have solar panels on my house, and this is this is like what I have. I don't have um, I don't have any batteries um, on my system. So um, uh, 
not having batteries makes the system simpler and less expensive, but then the problem is you don't have any power when the grid goes out. So if pg e shuts off the power, even though I have solar on the roof, I don't have any power because my system depends on the grid to work, which is, you know, not ideal, but on the other hand, I don't have a bunch of batteries in my garage or something that I'm having to always monkey with. So yeah, anyway. Um, Okay, so today's assignment. Our solar suitcases are the type uh, with the panel, the charge controller battery, and then some loads, the, the third type. I, I told you that already. Um, that's the kind of system I'm gonna have you guys design over the next uh, week or so. And the first step in designing a system is to identify uh, the loads that you might wanna power in case of emergency or any situation where you're not able to be on a power grid. Um, so today's assignment is a Google sheet, which you're gonna to use to identify some loads. So I'll show you um, uh, what this looks like. The Google sheet uh, looks like this. Um, I know it's small on your little screen share view, but um, you'll have your own copy of this thing. Um, there's instructions down here below. I'd like you to read the instructions. Um, before you try to fill out the table here. But then what I'm asking you to do, to do, 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 do is uh, identify four or more devices. I give you room to do five, but I'm, I'm just requiring that you do four. Um, uh, do five if you feel like it. Uh, different devices. And then, um, and then I want you to look up how much uh, power that device uses. So um, I'll, I'm gonna... Um, this is the actual document that you're getting, um, you know, that you're, that's being shared with you. So I'm, I just made a copy of it so I can edit it without putting this in everybody's things. But um, I could, for example, say one of my devices is an iPhone charger. Um, and, uh, and then, okay, well, that's great. Well, how do, I, how do I find out how many watts an iPhone uses? Well, watch this. How many watts does an iPhone charger use? Um, it's, it's already there on the Google. Um, and here it tells me an iPhone charger delivers five watts. Okay, so I just come back here and say five watts. Okay, so I'm asking you just to do that for four or more possible loads. Things, I want you to think, what, what would I need in case of an emergency? What, what would I like to be able to power? Um, you're not committing to this. This is like sort of the exploring day where we're brainstorming and uh, um, now, <clears throat> I, I told the Google Classroom to give each of you your own copy of this spreadsheet. So, um, and yet uh, a couple people from fourth period sent me the emails like requesting edit access. And uh, so anyway, if you find yourself about to ask me for edit access on the document, that just means you're accessing it the wrong way. I, I don't know. I don't know how you, I don't, I don't know how you, I don't even know how you do that because I have a, a fake student account and I'm able to log in and I see it and I, 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 I'm able to do it. I don't have to ask me for permission. So anyway, you're not supposed to ask me for permission to edit this document. There's a copy in the Google Classroom uh, for each of you. So you should just be able to open it up. And uh, uh, I mean, it's not there yet, but it'll be there in just a second. Any questions? All right, I got it all queued up here. Go ahead. It looked like there were like instructions below that or um Yeah. Yeah, the instructions for what to do on the sheet are below. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it's okay. I just I had the instructions on top and then it was awkward. And then it, then I had to scroll each document in order to see what people put in it, you know. So I thought I'll have them put the stuff at the top put the instructions down below and it's all good. So yeah, just read the instructions and you're going to be fine. Um, so once you're done, you can, you can go. Um, any, and if there's any other questions, otherwise just go for it. Okay. And you can turn your cameras off if you want. Um, I'm going to stop the screen share. This Google, the Google slides I showed you are, are, are on, uh, 
are on the assignment as well. Oh yeah, 